Mesh Fusion enables you to create an endless number of custom trimming shapes, including the ability to combine multiple meshes to create compound trims. Let's use this collection of simple mesh items to create a wrench and to see a compound trim in action. Start by selecting the three central mesh items and create a fusion item. Next, select the open end cutter followed by the wrench open end mesh item and click the apply subtractive trim button. We could follow the same steps to create the other end of the wrench, but this time let's take advantage of the compound trim option. Select the main cutter and the radial cutter mesh items and create a new mesh fusion item. Select the main cutter item again and click the make compound trim button. This converts the fusion item into a locator item containing the trimming meshes. If you expand the locator in the item list, you can see the trims included in the compound. We can use this new compound item as a trim by selecting the locator, selecting the items we want to trim, and then click the apply subtractive trim button. The compound trim behaves as a single element so you can move, scale, and rotate it as one unit, or transform each of its meshes individually. I'm going to finish off this wrench by updating the strip items and adjusting the two strips that connect the ends to make it look like they're welded together. Compound trims can be a good way to organize more complex mesh fusion builds and to make future edits easier. Be sure to experiment with them so you feel more comfortable working with them in the future.